For the last decade, Bungie has been pumping a ton of time, energy, and money into the Destiny franchise. But do they have anything else cooking in the oven, and if so, what? Bungie CEO Pete Parsons has gone on the record saying that Bungie plans to not only transform Destiny, but to also have other successful games out in the marketplace by the year 2025. Today, I want to talk about what at least one of those games might be. Hi, my name is Fallout, and subscribe to my channel for no reason other than just because I told you to. A lot of what we're going to be going over today Today should be taken with pretty large grains of salt all across the board. Nothing in the industry is ever fully confirmed until it's confirmed by the company making the game. But with that in mind, there's nothing wrong with looking at all the signs that are out there and going over some juicy, good old fashioned speculation. According to an article written by Tom Henderson, an industry insider who dabbles in both predicting and outright leak sharing, Bungie's supposed goal for a big new project is to bring back the Marathon series into a brand new game. If you're unfamiliar with or have never played Marathon, before. Don't worry, I haven't either. It's a game that came out on the Mac in 1994, back when I was still trying to make sure I had the most up-to-date version of the Cootie Shot. Marathon was a first-person shooter that was essentially the Mac's answer to the classic PC shooter, Doom. The game took place way in the future, out in space, and has you, the player, as a security officer attempting to stop an alien invasion aboard a colony ship called the Marathon. The game was received very well at the time and spawned two sequels, Marathon 2, released in 1995, and Marathon Infinity released in 1996. Back to the Insider Gaming article by Tommy Hendo, apparently this Marathon Revival game would be a three-man squad extraction-based shooter. If you're not sure what a extraction-based shooter is, think Escape from Tarkov. If the rumors are true, that Marathon Revive sounds very appealing to yours truly. I've tried Escape from Tarkov, and while fun, I did find it confusing as all f I also would probably be more drawn into the game if it featured the more usual bungee sci-fi style flair, as opposed to the straight up military realism theme going on in Tarkov. Which is fine, but I don't really care for it. Actually, most of Tarkov I didn't really care for. Except for the prison wallet feature, by the way. That should be a mandatory thing you can have in literally every video game forever. Anywho, from Tom Henderson's article, it's understood that the gameplay loop of Marathon is similar to most extraction-based shooters. Choose a mission, buy and choose your loadout, drop into the map, hunt for loot, and complete the mission and extract safely. The game, supposedly, will take place on a planet that was previously home to a human colony that vanished, with surviving humans using highly customizable cyborgs called runners to gather loot. Like with most extraction-based shooters, it's very likely that you will lose all of your loot if you're unfortunate enough to die in-game. While playing cooperatively with friends is a very familiar core aspect to many of Bungie's recent games, losing all your on dying is pretty damn different from the current Destiny 2 system, where if I were to lose any of my god roll loot by any means other than willingly deleting it, I would uninstall the game. Much like Destiny though, the new game is rumored to have a large live service game mode, complete with seasonal rewards, progression, the whole shebang. A lot of folks out there are wondering if this might somehow be tied to the mysterious trademark Bungie filed called Matter. Filed by a UK law firm representing Bungie, Matter was filed with classifications containing all of the following. Computer game software downloadable, video game software, video game competitions via the internet, and much more jargon just like that. Also, there's a fun little graphic image, but that's about it. It's entirely possible that whatever the hell matter is, it's in no way related to the rumored Marathon Revival, and could be something completely different altogether, maybe even a mobile game. After all, the graphics look hella bright, colorful, and fun, whereas on paper, the rumored Marathon Revival extraction shooter <laughs> sounds really gritty and badass. I wouldn't expect a PvPVE extraction shooter to have art that looks like a unicorn farted on a blank canvas. Anyway, other folks in the world of gaming have mentioned also hearing rumors about the revived Marathon extraction game, including Giant Bomb's Jeff Grubb. On the Game Mess Mornings podcast, Grubb had the following to say regarding the rumored Marathon game. As a runner, you are a cyborg who jacks into your spacesuit, and that's going to be the thing that is highly customizable. And that is a point that uh, Bungie is very, very emphasizing, uh, very focused on that you are going to be, custom, be able to customize everything about this, and they want you to feel like your character is truly your own. Obviously, a lot of benefits for selling microtransactions when it comes to something like that. The, the game has a very vibrant look, very vibrant colors, but then the, the geometry of the world, at least in concept art, is very boxy and um, maybe a br brutalist, I, I, I was what it, is how it was described to me. Um, 
And then the key points for Bungie beyond everything being highly customizable, customizable is it's got an authentic Bungie first place, first person shooter experience, a dynamic world, seasonal rewards, as Tom wrote. Uh, and then there will be secrets. There will be a lot of emphasis on these runner characters and their culture. And then uh, the setting will have a plausible future. And then, yes, again, that gameplay loop is going to be choose loadout, choose your objectives, spawn in, explore, find loot, and then extract. Uh, and then the other big point that Bungie is really keyed in on is no load times and very, very minimal, minimal queue times to get into the game. In the current grand scheme of things, I still do love Destiny, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to a new or completely reimagined IP. The good news is, even though the core grind in Destiny 2 IMO has gotten stale, Bungie has proven, at least to me, that they can make a game where the gunplay feels goddamned incredible. If nothing else, Bungie has probably learned a ton in the past decade in terms of how to manage a live service game. Not only what works, but what doesn't work. Destiny 2 has had both peaks and valleys in its long tenure, and hopefully all those learned lessons will be applied to whatever comes next. I'm hoping that the rumors are true, because the marathon game idea sounds kind of badass and something I would really want to get into. Again, take everything you've heard today with a big grain of salt. Rumors are rumors, and while it's fun to think of a new sales chart crushing game, nothing is confirmed until it's confirmed. I will keep you posted though, so subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on stream.